So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do quantizing in Reaper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a click track. All right, double click to make a new track. Insert click source. W means go back to the start and create another track. And I create my sampler track, TX16W. And I load up my patch on here. Click on this small icon. Razor RMB drum kit. Then I have this enabled on here and also I'll have the MIDI on all MIDI inputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sequence this drum pattern in, in Reaper. Command R records it, so I'm going to try to play this in time. Two, three, four. So what I've done is I've recorded a little drum pattern. I'm going to double click this. So on here, you notice that these regions here, if I right click on the mouse, click and drag, it'll select it. You'll notice this region here is out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize this and I select the grid for this to be eighth note. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this or I can press Q. If I click on this, it'll give me more of a settings and I'll quantize it. The strength, if I put it at least, it won't do anything. If I put it 100%, it'll put that in time. So it's only for these regions that I selected. For these ones on here, if I can press, I'll highlight a right click and I can select these to be eighth notes and press Q. And these will try to put these into every eighth note on there. I click OK. This will be out, but you'll understand that this is sort of lined up with a kick and snare when I play it. But it lines it up to every eighth note, as you, as you can see on the grid. If I press Q again and take it off, this is what was originally recorded. So if I zoom in, you can see even this is out. And if I put the strength back on, it aligns it straight to the grid.